This is how we can use the DeepSeek AI assistant on your iPhone. Let's get into it. So naturally you need to get the app on the app store. So open it up, type in DeepSeek. The first thing is likely going to be like an AI, but you want to find it, the official DeepSeek application, tap on get, and of course, download it on your device. When you open it up, you will have to accept the agreement. So that's it. And then you need to sign in with uh, whatever account you pick. Right. So most likely a lot of people are going to go with Google or Apple, but you can also just set up an email password and stuff like this. Right. So you can do that if you wish. Now, then the main screen features a chat interface where you can interact with the AI the same as if you were chatting with ChatGPT or some different ones, but you can use the uh, DeepSeek in this sense. In the top left menu, you can see the past chats. So if you have a history of conversations, you can go ahead and tap on this to see it. And then the top right button is actually like a, you know, new chat button, which just lets you start a new chat if you want to just ask something different, right? So you can, of course, as if you are using a chat GPT or some other assistant, you can type in your questions in the chat at the bottom. And obviously it's going to give you all of the response. So make sure to utilize it to the potential that you want, right? So it's not like that you're Googling something. It's actually going to give you some personalized answers. What's good about the, this like deep seek is that it is slightly faster than the chat GPT, but obviously it is up to you to decide which one you want to go with. It's always a good idea to use both or have like multiple different apps, which are like AI assistants on your phone. So that's always a good idea. And the app also has like a paid version to it. So there is the deep seek air one mode, which is uh, similar to, you know, other apps like paid versions which has some more advanced capabilities, like the model that you're going to be using to answer your questions will be, will be a little bit more advanced, but it's probably not for everyone. Then what you can also do is to similarly to ChatGPT, you can upload like your PDF files or I don't know, like a picture and ask questions about it. So this is the same thing. So you're not really losing that much. I would say that the whole point is to test out the very same uh, question or give it the very same input and test it out across like different AI assistant apps to see which one is going to give you the best result or the which one is going to be fastest. And, you know, just another app to test out your searches would be really fine, right? So this is how it works. Obviously, there are also some settings where uh, you can go to your profile and you can even like remove the account altogether depending on which uh, way you chose to sign in. But yeah, pretty much that's it. Uh, that's how you can use the DeepSeek AI assistant on your iPhone. Let me know below in the comments if you found this video helpful. Hit the thumbs up if you did, and I'm going to catch you later on in the next tutorial. <laughs>